Hello student, good morning. Today we will study the remaining part of chapter 2, The Adventures of Toto. And the first part we had studied that grandfather had bought Toto from the Tonga driver for the sum of 5 rupees here. Okay. And when grandfather showed the condition of Toto, it was in a poor condition. That is why he wanted to purchase this Toto. And he added this beautiful animal in his private zoo and here grandmother disliked that is why it was secretly kept and here toto was mischievous toto and here it, it was also given the description of totos it was a pretty monkey long tail sparkle eyes and uh, white teeth and here he created mischievous things one day when grandfather went to saharanpur he brought toto in a bag usko apni bag mein lekar jaate hai the toto kept into the canvas bag and here into the canvas bag toto was rolling and jumping so it was an entertaining moment for the crowd which was there somehow toto could able to poke his nose from the bag Let's study the further chapter. When Toto poke and peep out from the canvas bag, the poor man was taken away. But with great presence of mind and much to grandfather's annoyance, he said, Sir, you have a dog with you. You will have to pay for it accordingly. And here he little bit angry on grandfather and said that he has to pay as he is carrying a dog with him. In vain did grandfather take Toto out of the bag. In vain did he try to prove that a monkey did not qualify as a dog or even as a quadrup. Toto was classified a dog by the ticket collector and 3 rupees was the sum handed over as his fare. The word when, when means fail ho jana. Here that ticket collector had said that he is carrying a dog. Grandfather tried to convince the ticket collector that this is a monkey, not a dog. Even he took out the monkey from the bag to show the ticket collector. But ticket collector could not convince. He said that this animal has four legs. It means it is a dog. In this way, grandfather has to pay the ticket for the Toto, for a monkey. Even it was not a dog, it was a monkey. He paid 3 rupees as a fare. Then grandfather just to get his own back, took from his poked out paid Totoes and said, What must I pay for this since you charge for all animals? Here, grandfather has to pay 3 rupees for the monkey as a fair. So, it is obvious that grandfather was not happy. Then, grandfather took out a tortoise from his pocket and showed to the ticket collector, ticket collect, uh, collector and, tell, and tell him that what would be the charge of him. The ticket collector looked closely at the tortoise, pro prodded it with his four fingers gave grandfather a please and triumphant look and said no charge it is not a dog here ticket collector looked very closely with his observant eyes prodded means searched searched with hands with his four fingers he looked and he touched that uh, toy toys and here as a victorious look he said that no sir this is not a dog so there is no charge for him See how the ticket collector's knowledge is that he couldn't recognize, he couldn't even differentiate between monkey and a dog. Even when grandfather showed him tortoise, he searched with his fingers, he observed it, usko haath se dekha, bahut hi dhyan se dekha. Then he said that this is not a dog and that is why there is no charge for it. When Toto was finally accepted by grandmother. We also knew that the Toto, the cap, that pet animal was kept secretly. Now that secret may be opened and 
The Toto was accepted by grandmother. He was given a comfortable home in the stable where he had for a companion the family donkey Nana and here it was kept into the house and he had a companion donkey whose name is Nana that is Nana is a name of donkey Toto is a name of monkey is it is it on Toto's first night in the stable stable is a place where the animals where the donkeys and where the uh, horses are kept grandfather paid him a visit to see if he was comfortable and here grandfather usko dekhne jaate whether he is comfortable or not he went to the stable grandfather went to the stable to his surprise he found nana without apparent cause pulling at her halter and trying to keep her head as far as possible from a bundle of hay bundle of of hay it means jo एनिमल्स के लिए चारा होता है इसको कहते हैं बंडल ऑफ है एंड हेल्टर हेल्टर मीन्स रोप अपेरियन इट मीन्स क्लियर हियर ग्रांड फादर वॉज सरप्राइज टू सी दैट डोंकी वॉज ट्राइंग टू कीप हिज हर हेड फ्रॉम द हे ऑफ बंडल ऑफ हे ग्रांड फादर गेव नाना अ स्लेप अक्रॉस हर होंचिस एंड सी जॉगड बैग ट्रैगिंग टोटो विथ हर He had fastened on to her long ears with his sharp little teeth, and here you can see the situation. Grandfather gave a Nana slip, slip de te uske hunches par, and she jogged. That Nana jogged back, dragging Toto with her, and here he she is dragging Toto with her. Dragging मतलब dresser na usko khich kar lekar jana, aur wo jo thi Nana usko khich kar lekar ja rahi thi. He fastened on to her. और ये जो मंकी है टोटो है फास्टन्ड उसके साथ बंधा हुआ था लॉन्ग ईयर्स विथ इज साफ लिटिल टीथ उसके कान में अपना टीथ भरा कर वो उसमें जकड़े हुए था एंड दैट इज़ वाई नाना वॉज ड्रैगिंग हर विथ हर टोटो एंड नाना नेवर बिकम फ्रेंड्स हियर दे नेवर बिकम फ्रेंड्स अ ग्रेट ट्रेड फॉर टोटो ड्यूरिंग कोल्ड विंटर इवनिंग was a large bowl of warm water given him by grandfather for his bath and here in the winter season toto was taking bath with warm water and there is a great treat bahut hi ek achhi treat uske liye thi ki usko garam pani se nahane milta tha he would cunningly taste the temperature with his hand and we knew that ki monkey jo hai insano ki tarah hi wo Uh, कितनी सारी एक्शंस जो है वो कर सकता है तो उसको कैसे बनाना कुछ हिलकर खाना एप्पल खाना कभी उसको कुछ भी दे देते हुए तो इंसानों की तरह वो खाते हैं सो हियर ही कनिंगली तेज द टेम्परेचर विथ हिज हैंड वो टेम्परेचर को पहले हाथ से चेक करता है कि वेदर इट इज़ वेरी हॉट फॉर हीम और नॉट या कभी हम भी जब गर्म पानी से नहाते तो हम भी टेम्परेचर चेक कर लेते कि ज़्यादा गर्म तो नहीं ज़्यादा ठंडा तो नहीं है इन द सेम वे The monkey did this. Then gradually step into the bath. Gradually means slowly, slowly. वो बात करने के लिए जाता. You can see in the picture. First see. he put his first leg and then the another one until he was into the water up to his neck. Neck तक वो आ जाता तब तक वो नहाता रहता. Once comfortable, he would take the soap in his hands or feet and rub himself over all over. After that he took a shop and rub all over his figure all over his body when the water become cold he would get out and run as quickly as he could to kitchen fire in order to dry himself and here when the water become cold he run directly towards the kitchen to warm his body by watching this section we can say that the monkey is a beautiful and brilliant creature is it When the water become cold he would get out and run as quickly as cold to the kitchen fire in order to dry himself apne aap ko sukhane ke liye jata tha If anyone laughed at him during this performance Toto's feeling would be hurt and he would refuse to go on with go on with his bath And what happened when someone laughed on uh, this performance he would refuse to go on bath with on the next day वो नहाने नहीं जाता क्योंकि उसकी फीलिंग्स को हर्ट होता था वन डे टोटो नियरली सक्सेडेड इन बॉइलिंग हिम सेल्फ लाइव एक दिन तो ऐसा हुआ कि अपने आप को वो जला भी देता 
a large kitchen kettle had been left on the fire to boil the tea the large kettle was on the fire it was for warming the tea finding himself with nothing better to do decided to remove the lid finding the water just warm enough for the bath he got in with his head sticking out from the open kettle and he put himself in the kettle he thought that there is a warm water and it is enough to take a bath and that is why he went into the kettle and take out his mouth face from the open kettle's lid this was just fine for while and it was okay for the few minutes until the water began to boil now the water began to boil fire par rakha tha to boil hone laga toto then raised himself a little but finding it cold outside sit down again and that is why he 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 was feeling a very hot and that is he continued hopping up and down for some time until grandmother arrived and hold him half to boil out of the kettle and when grandmother came and he took out the tutor from the kettle otherwise he was burn himself uh, wo agar grandmother nahi aati to wo apne aap ko jala deta as he was jumping into the boiling water if there is a part of the brain especially devoted to mischief that part was largely developed in tutu agar masti ka jo part bada hua hai brain mein to wo isme bahut hi लार्जली डेवलप है टोटो में क्योंकि बहुत ही मिस्चिवियस था ही वॉज ऑलवेज ट्यूरिंग थिंग्स टू प्लेस पीसीस वेन यू वर वन ऑफ माई आंट्स केम नियर हिम ही मेड एवरी एफर्ट्स टू गेट होल्ड हर ड्रेस एंड टीयर इन इट एंड हियर ही ब्रोक एंड ही टोल्ड मैनी थिंग्स बहुत सारी चीज़ों को वो तोड़ देता था एंड वन डे नेरेट्रस वन ऑफ आंट्स हैज कम एंड हियर टोटो टोर हर ड्रेस कि उसमें इतने सारे उसको पकड़ कर रखा कि उसको तोड़ दिया वन डे एट लंच टाइम अ लार्ज डिस ऑफ पुलाव स्टूड इन द एंड सेंटर ऑफ द डाइनिंग टेबल वन डे इट वॉज लंच टाइम एंड द पुलाव डिस वॉज कैप्ट ऑन द डाइनिंग टेबल वे एंटर द रूम टू फाइंड टोटो स्टफिंग हेमसेल्फ विथ राइस एंड दे वेन दे एंटर्ड ग्रैंड मदर ग्रैंड फादर नेरेटर वेंट इन टू द रूम एंड हियर दे सो टोटो वो स्टफिंग स्टफिंग मीन्स फिलिंग अप विथ राइस वो खा रहा था ग्रैंड मदर स्क्रीम्ड चिल्लाते हैं एंड टोटो थ्रू अ प्लेट एट हॉर उसको उसकी दादी को उसके प्लेट फेंकता है उस पर दादी पर ग्रैंड ग्रैंड मदर पर वन ऑफ माई आंट्स रस्ड फॉरवर्ड एंड रिसीव्ड अ ग्लास ऑफ वॉटर एन द फेस एंड हियर वन ऑफ आंट्स रस्ड फॉरवर्ड आगे बढ़ती है तो उस पर पानी का ग्लास छिड़क देता है वेन ग्रैंड फादर अराइव टोटो पिकड अप द डिस ऑफ पुलाव एंड मेड हिज एग्जिस्ट थ्रू अ विंडो जब ग्रैंड फादर आते हैं तो वो डिस लेकर ही बाहर भाग जाता है फ्रॉम द विंडो वी फाउंड हीम इन द ब्रांचेस ऑफ द जैक फ्रूट ट्री द डिस स्टील इन हीज आर्म्स एंड हियर ही क्लाइंड अप द जैक जैक फ्रूट ट्री एंड स्टील द डिस ऑफ पुलाव वॉज इन हीज आर्म्स आर्म्स मीन्स हैंड he remained there all afternoon eating slowly through the rice determined on fishing every grain finishing every grain and here he remained there for the whole afternoon here he was eating slowly slowly and he finished all the pulao's dish every grain matlab pura ka pura wo dish wahan par baithe baithe enjoy kiya and then in order in order to spite grandmother who had screamed at him he threw the dish from the tree and chattered with delight when it broke into hundred of pieces and here he remembered that grandmother screamed at him and that is why he threw the dish from the tree and that dish broke into hundred of pieces and here that monkey that toto chattered with delight he became so happy when he saw the 100 pieces of the dis obviously toto was not the sort of pet we could keep for long even grandfather realized that here grandfather realized that this is not a really pet monkey he could not associable with the other animal and even he don't know how to leave he had no manners we were not well to do and could not afford the frequent loss of dishes clothes curtains and wallpapers 
नेरेटर इज सेंग दैट वी वर नॉट वेल टू डू हियर द वर्ड वेल टू डू मतलब बहुत ही रिच वो नहीं थे एंड दैट इज वाई दे कुड नॉट एफोर्ड एफोर्ड मतलब उसको वो उसको ये ज़्यादा जो पैसे इस तरह से खर्च हो रहे थे क्योंकि ये डीज तोड़ रहा था क्लोथी स्कॉल्टेन एंड वॉल पेपर्स तोड़ रहा था तो इसका जो लॉस था उसके लिए एफोर्ड नहीं, नहीं कर सकते थे एंड दिस वन ऑल्सो रियलाइज बाय द ग्रैंड फादर ग्रैंड फादर को भी रियलाइज हुआ कि ही कुड नॉट कीप दिस टोटो दिस मंकी फॉर द लॉन्ग टाइम एट द होम सो ग्रैंड फादर फाउंड द टोंगा ड्राइवर एंड सोल्ड टोटो बैक टू हीम फॉर ओनली थ्री रुपीज एंड दैट इज़ बाई ग्रैंड फादर डिसाइडेड टू गिव दिस टोटो टू सम वन ही फाउंड द टोंगा ड्राइवर उसको वही टोंगा ड्राइवर को देखा और उसको उसको ही तीन रुपये में उसको बेच दिया so student this is the story of toto and the first part we had written question 1 and 2 now today i'm giving you homework question number 3 4 and 5 you have to write in your homework book and please as you finish your homework book please send me in my whatsapp number thank you and have a nice day